Hi friends, it's Carrie from Stretch Chi. It's a life renovations lesson and this is going to be our diet challenge for the week. Now, our whole week has been about giving truthful thoughts from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind, correct? So we live in this like world of convenience where a lot of food has a very long shelf life so that it can stay at the grocery store for a very long time and you know you can then buy it and then put it on your shelf and have it stay there for a very long time and that's all good and well except that you're giving yourself a lot of processed foods and chemicals when you could be eating something that's a little better for you, correct? Look on the ingredient list of every item maybe in your pantry. This could be a good project for this week if you're stuck at home. Or just when you buy things in the future, instead of like getting rid of things that are actually in your pantry, like eat what's in there, it's fine. But over the course of time, try to get to the point where you wean off of heavy processed foods and pull down to things that only have three ingredients in them that you could not buy yourself. So everything that's in your pantry, everything that's in your freezer or in your refrigerator should be things that you could either grow, raise like an animal, or create yourself from things that you can get at the grocery store, right? kind of tricky but then you get into all these preservatives and things and whatever and sometimes they're needed so I would say give yourself three ingredients per list now I just pulled a couple things out of my cabinet I have icing because my birthday is tomorrow I'm going to be 42 and I uh, I bought this so I can make myself a cake full of disgusting things it's this is really bad. But the ingredient list on here, you can see if I get up close, I tried to cover up, I don't know what um, copyrights rules are. But look at how many ingredients there are. There's like a gazillion ingredients, right? Now, it starts off with sugar and water, but then we get into like palm oil and corn syrup, corn starch, cocoa processed with alkali. I don't even know what that means. And then we get into salt monoglycerides, polysorbate 60, natural and artificial flavor, sodium sterile lactic, lac lactate, all kinds of stuff that I don't even know what it is, right? These are just preservatives, right? This is junk. This is, and it's important because then you can put the icing on the, in the pantry for a long, long time, or it can sit at the grocery store for a very, very long time, but it doesn't necessarily serve me in real life. So if I was going to make icing myself, I wouldn't have all that stuff in it. It'd be like sugar and chocolate, right? And butter, I think. And those are things that I could really make myself if I really wanted to. So three ingredients or less. So this stuff technically I should not buy, except that, you know, it's my birthday and we have our moments, right? Now I have another one. This is an all natural pancake mix that I bought at the grocery store. And the ingredients of this one are wheat flour, cane syrup, cream of tartar, and baking soda, and salt. That's it. So these, this is good for you. And it may not be great. I mean, they're still pancakes, right? <laughs> it's still full of wheat and all kinds of stuff and sugar, but there's nothing in this package that I couldn't recreate on my own. I mean, you may be surprised when you look through your pantry how many things you have that are full of chemicals. So what you'll want to do when you find that is see if you can replace it with something else. Like for instance, pancake syrup that's like shelf stable is full of junk and chemicals. But maple syrup, when you look at the ingredient list, it just says 100% pure maple syrup. There's nothing else in it. And it serves the same purpose and it's so good. The difference is, is that you have to refrigerate maple syrup and the other syrups you can just leave on the shelf. But you know what's funny about that is that when you leave it on the shelf, that means that bugs won't even eat it, right? Bacteria won't grow on it. They're, it bugs won't eat it. Like if bugs won't eat it, why should you eat it? That's so gross, right? It's so gross. So take this week to kind of clean out your pantry a little bit. You don't have to throw away anything. Don't go crazy. Just decide what you might replace. So if you find something in your pantry that has too many ingredients in it, then think about like the next time you go to the grocery store, what would you replace it with? Like for instance, maybe I could find a recipe where I could make my own icing instead of this junk, right? This 
pancake mix might be the better pancake mix than the one that you usually buy, right? So just make a trade. It's a really easy fix. Okay, friends? That's all we're going to do for this week. Don't forget to watch the other Life Renovations videos from week two. Also, like, share, and subscribe if you know anybody who could benefit from this or could benefit from Life Renovations in general. And don't forget to come to stretching class because that's the main purpose of this whole page is to get your body in place so that you can do all the great things and live your best life. All right, my friends, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the description below. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.